All right. This is take two. Uh, the weather's causing a little chaos with my internet. So fingers crossed, fingers, fingers crossed. All right. So this is a debrief um, about the live that I did yesterday. If you didn't see the live that I did yesterday and you're watching this as a recording, maybe pop out, go watch that one, then come back to this one. Yeah, cool. All right, so <laughs> um, yeah, so the live I did yesterday brought up some really unexpected emotions while I was actually on the live. Um, and it was totally, yeah, I did not see that coming. Um, <laughs> and in the midst of, you know, getting all teary, um, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, this is not the time or the place to be having this. But anyway, it was there. I felt it and progressed onwards. So... Um, when I got off the live, I had that, um, oh shit moment. It's like, okay, oh, do I keep that video up or do I delete it? Is that a, a, um, CLM career limiting move or BLM business limiting move by leaving that up there? Cause yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, authentic. It's not pretty, it's pretty messy. Um. Yeah, and I guess um, if anyone's familiar with um, Bren Brown's work around vulnerability, um, I think her second big TED talk that she does, not not the first one that sort of a lot of that went viral. She's got a follow up one a few years later, and she talks about the vulnerability hangover, and that's effectively what I sort of had for about five seconds yesterday uh, <laughs> in that oh shit. But the truth of the matter is, is that it was absolutely perfect and it was so spot on because um, obviously this group's fairly new and I'm just ramping it up now, but I haven't yet talked a lot about emotions, but for the women who come along to my monthly events, we go there freaking every month. We talk about um, how valid our emotions are, our feelings, what they're about, um, why it's useful uh, to express them um and different ways of doing that uh that's helpful and useful anyway i'm not going to get into that fully right now this is just a debrief so yes so i had that um oh shit moment then got over it because it's like well this is a cool part of my message so this is me showing up actually what is it walking the talk I don't just talk it, I do this, I do this daily. Not always crying, but you know. Um, so the underlying, why that uh, emotion actually broiled up during that conversation, I was talking about, you know, the importance of the joyfully message and how it's important to, how it's so important to me to share this message and my big why. Um, and how it's powerful for me. I can't not do this. Um, and so where the tears were whirling up was because I had gotten beautiful affirmation, um, affirming um, uh, from the women the night before when I had done my initial confession. And um, yeah, it was, it was really beautiful and the tears aren't sadness they're coming from a place of well joy funnily enough go figure um oh, i'm losing my train of thought because it's so important to me what this is what i'm doing um and yeah so the tears were just because it's so oh it's in here yeah, there's almost no words to explain it. Yeah. So ultimately, it was all perfect. Effectively, the summary. Yeah. Um, so you're getting me real and <laughs> totally real. 
unfiltered. This is me, <laughs> you know, and I'm not going to run away from emotions because it's so pivotal. It's such an important part of being human, of um, functioning, of having resilience and confidence and being flexible, being able to do things that we don't think we can. Yeah, um, a lot of the joylessness um, that we're sort of working against is where we can we limit ourselves. We believe the stories that we tell ourselves. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Da 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 da. Yeah, all the BS. Um, so yeah, being able to front up to those and face them, the emotions, the stories, the beliefs ultimately creates more joy and a more richer and fulfilling life and that's ultimately the core of my message this is what i'm here to do for myself first and foremost and then just share the experience and then for everyone else who tunes in take it or leave it okay uh it's it's all good there's there's nothing that you have to do um, that's that's not what this is about at all, yeah. <sighs> so yeah, all uh, the great thing was is even though I had the oh shit moment, I felt great after that. You know, I went out, had a really nice um, brunch, uh, serotonin eatery in Burnley, very good. Can highly recommend. Um, and yeah, a great afternoon. And I felt lighter. Um, it's the whole idea of um, there's, there's two elements. It wasn't just having the emotion and then realizing the underlying and what that was about. I was doing that on a Facebook Live. I was freaking broadcasting it. Now, I know only a handful of people have actually tuned in and watched it. And that's cool. It's not the ideal. But to be witnessed in those moments and survive it <laughs> thanks christy i love you too <laughs> so much um to be witnessed in that is so powerful as human beings we're designed we're hardwired for connection and when we can't be ourselves 100 percent fully expressed around other humans we're shutting down parts of ourselves we're not fully authentic we're not fully there um it's a big underlying cause for a lot of the problems in the world from my perspective yeah it's just my story okay um so anyway yeah <laughs> so anyway for those who are watching this who haven't watched yesterday's go watch yesterday's um if it upsets you seeing me express what was going on for me just take note of that okay we perhaps as humans haven't particularly in our society haven't been particularly well trained <laughs> in how to sit with other people's emotions yeah so um i talk about holding space um, and that is such a powerful skill set to have, and that is to just be okay with whatever comes up for a person. Yeah. Um, again, I'll save that for for another time. But um, yeah. Just notice: is it so uncomfortable that you can't watch? Is it so uncomfortable that perhaps you feel the need to have to reach out um, and make my pain, my suffering, go away? Yeah. Or is it okay? You're just like, wow, this person's having a beautiful moment expressing authentically what's going on for them right now. Just a thought, just a thought. Um, I don't anticipate I'll be crying on lives very often. <laughs> As I said, that was unexpected. Um, however, I will be not hiding away, I will not be shying away for what's really going on. Um, it's powerful for me to express it. And as I said, it's it's essentially key. It is really key to joy. <laughs> um, 
yeah, there's a few keys. We'll get into those, but it's it it is definitely one of one of the essential keys. So, um, so if any of this you're sitting there thinking, shit, I don't want to listen to that. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm not concerned about this. Just leave the group. It's okay. <laughs> There's, it's all good. It's all good. Just do what you need to do for you. And, that, and that's really important. Again, it's all about true authenticity. And that involves doing what's right for us um, and really checking in and honing in about, all right, why am I in this group? What's the purpose of me honing in or listening to the joy scientist crap on periodically? Yeah. Mm. Well, what, what is it? What's the need that gets met? What's the purpose of it? Mm. Anyway, it's 11 minutes. That's too long. I don't want to do long ones. All right. I value your time, so we'll keep it keep it there. But thank you, thank you for letting me debrief. I just really wanted to sort of unplug, pull that apart, uh, having given myself a bit of time and space to be with it, um, and also just go, yeah, <laughs> go me, doing things totally outside my comfort zone, very very frequently at the moment. So uh, and yeah, it's it's all perfect. All right, with heart and soul, we're signing off. Andrea Martel, Joy Scientist. Have a great Friday. I'm not going to do any lives over the weekend. I've got a big challenge kicking off on Monday, the self-love one. So there'll be lots of, well, there'll be daily lives. That's effectively what that challenge is. Uh, lots of cool things. All right. Bye. And come on. This is awkward. <laughs>